We've spoken about the support from Australia and Socceroos. Now, the A-League season is about to return. And in five months' time, the Women's World Cup is here in Australia and New Zealand. The momentum and the support that is brewing and going all the way through to mid-next year has just come at the perfect time. Yeah, absolutely. The next six to eight months of Australian football is going to be extraordinary. This, the return of the A-League and the ongoing um, season for the A-League women's as well, like those two competitions play a really important role in what's going to happen between now and the Women's World Cup. They are the platforms on which future Socceroos and future Matildas are made and the APL who runs the A-Leagues need to go hammer and tongs at that narrative now. They need to sell that, not just in terms of their own platforms and social media, which they've already started to do, but they really need to um, impress it upon the broadcaster, Network 10 and on Paramount+. Plus. They need to be banging their heads against a wall, making sure that this narrative is out there because come Women's World Cup in July of next year, you know, people are going to be turning out for the Matildas. And if there are any players currently in the A-League women's, which there are, you've got Elise Kellon Knight, you've got Alex Chidiak, you know, you've got a sprinkling of Matildas in the same way you've got a sprinkling of Socceroos. Like these are the players you need to use to keep generating that momentum and that interest going into that tournament. And then, you know, we've already got a really good legacy program that's been built around the Women's World Cup next year, which is hopefully going to capture a lot of the popularity, a lot of the investment, a lot of the interest, all the stuff that comes off a moment like we've just experienced with the Socceroos and is able to really transfer and translate that interest into a genuine concrete kind of changes for the game. So ensuring that there are more facilities that are available for women and girls, ensuring that there's more media coverage, ensuring that there's more funding for high performance sport, ensuring that there are better youth development pathways for national teams, all that stuff that is involved in the ecosystem of Australian football, which has always sort of been a little bit clunky, a little bit sort of not really quite gelling together over the last decade. All of that stuff seems to be coalescing now in this one sort of six to eight month bracket. So, you know, Australian football is really good at, at self cannibalizing and and just constantly infighting and, and having people scrap and, and struggle for their own little patches. But this is a moment that we actually cannot afford to waste. We're not going to get a moment like this probably for a whole generation. So we need to do as much as we can and work as hard as we can together to ensure that we benefit the rest of the game. It was absolutely superbly said.